as a tester how will you beat the competition in the software world because testers definitely plays a good role in the software field but there is a lot of competition is also there while performing our job as a tester then how will you improve ourselves so that we can definitely be in the competition and we can beat that competition as well the first thing is we should always keep upgrading ourselves that is the first thing we have to do and we'll have to do continuous efforts as well in learning these new technologies better testing ideas bringing innovation on each activity we do on the day to day basis that is very crucial because unless we are not learning new technologies unless we are not bringing bringing a new thought process new testing ideas definitely we cannot find out the good quality issues we cannot come up with the good uh, test cases we cannot uh, definitely bring lot of value addition to the client and the second one is again the learning is also we we'll have to keep doing every day especially in terms of uh, what is happening in the it trend what is the emerging trends that are happening in the any space in the software world we should be having that latest updates as well and the third is definitely we should try to learn new tools to bring innovation plus when we are trying to bring new tools and uh, innovation definitely that is going to help us to bring uh, next level up productivity as a tester in order to beat the competition definitely testers would request definitely good uh, reasoning skills plus analytical skills as well this is very crucial because we should be able to question ourselves for every activity performed in the software development life cycle when we wanted to do that definitely we would be required a good reasoning skills analytical skills maybe these skills can be we can acquire by solving lot of puzzles finding pattern or lost and found uh, game so that we can learn this important skills of reasoning and analytical skills and the next aspect we should learn here is in order to beat the competition is we should be able to write the good defect report this is a important weapon or this is a important tool used by the software developer or a software tester in any software industry writing a good defect report is also very important because unless if you are not writing the good defect report then that would causes lot of impact to the overall efforts as well and also as a tester because we will be working with the various stakeholders we should also learn how to speak to the various stakeholders how to gather the lot of different inputs from testing point of view and overall uh, release perspective or overall uh, application perspective and by collecting those information and we can uh, simulate or you can adopt in your overall uh, day to day testing journey as a just uh, develop a road map for your career your future career as well in terms of short term goals and long term goals that would help you to assess where you are on today or maybe where you will be on next two days or where you will be for next two years or where you will be after five years or where you will be after 10 years in that way if you define yourself a certain road map and work against that that would help you to grow in your career plus you can also beat any kind of competition when you have a, that kind of road map plus uh, as a tester you should also keep in mind of uh, maintenance phase as well because once the product goes to the client place then client also finds lot of issues then lot of maintenance issues also comes even as a good tester you should keep those things also in mind in terms of maintenance what are the different things we should do while as part of maintenance these days applications are very user sensitive user friendly application lot of preferences will be given for user experience because of that testers also if they learn about uh, good user experiences how can we simulate that how can we adapt the good user experiences in our products or in any mobile application or website then definitely that brings lot of value addition for a tester you should have a good understanding on the root cause analysis because root cause analysis will will be normally performing for any kind of issues in the software industry it could be against bugs or any gaps in the requirements or any gaps in the requirements or any gaps in the tester 
any gaps in the automation or any gaps in the manual testing so in order to perform any kind of analysis we will have to perform the root cause analysis we should have a right mechanism of asking the right questions so that uh, when you are asking the right questions so get the answer in terms of different contest or different dependencies on your test and the next part is especially if you are testing any complex application or a con complex uh, requirements definitely it is always it is always good to divide and conquer those requirements a bigger requirement into smaller chunks and again smaller chunk into a detailed uh, test scenarios plus test cases in a in a more of a divide and conquer rule in that way you can even the complex things you can make it as simpler as possible